Sheila Jackson Lee, the beloved and influential Democratic Congresswoman from Texas, has passed away at the age of 74. Known for her tireless advocacy for black Americans, Jackson Lee's passing marks the end of an era. Her family announced her death with incredible grief for our loss yet deep gratitude for the life she shared with us. Diagnosed with pancreatic cancer in June, Jackson Lee faced her illness with unwavering faith and strength, acknowledging that the road ahead will not be easy. Jackson Lee, born on January 12, 1950, in Queens, New York, was a trailblazer. She was among the first women to graduate from Yale University and served as a Houston municipal judge and city councilwoman before unseating a Democratic incumbent to represent Texas' 18th congressional district in 1994. Throughout her over 30-year congressional career, Jackson Lee was a formidable advocate for progressive causes and the black community. She championed legislation to establish Juneteenth as a national holiday, fought against police brutality, and pushed for federal legislation to prosecute police misconduct. Her legacy as the fierce champion of the peoples will be remembered by her constituents, who affectionately referred to her as a congresswoman. Governor Chris Sununu of New Hampshire has sparked intense debate by signing a series of bills that drastically limit the rights of transgender youth. The new laws ban transgender girls in grades 5 to 12 from participating in girls' sports and prohibit medical professionals from performing gender-affirming surgeries on minors. These actions, hailed by fellow Republicans, have been met with outrage from LGBTQ advocates, who view them as an attack on the transgender community. In addition, a new bill allows parents to opt their children out of any public school instruction involving LGBTQ topics, with a mandatory two-week notice for such material. However, Sununu vetoed House Bill 396, which would have permitted businesses and government entities to discriminate based on biological sex in various public spaces, citing it would solve non-existent problems and invite unnecessary discord. The governor's late Friday announcement has been swiftly condemned by Democrats and LGBTQ advocates, who argued these measures legalize discrimination against transgender youth. In a historic and unprecedented advisory opinion, the United Nations top court has declared Israel's occupation of the West Bank and East Jerusalem illegal. This ruling, issued by the International Court of Justice ICJ, urges Israel to end its decades-long occupation of these territories, which Palestinians claim for a future state. While the opinion is non-binding, it carries significant moral authority and has the potential to shape international law. The ICJ highlighted numerous Israeli practices that violate international law, including land confiscation, settlement building, and depriving Palestinians of natural resources and self-determination. The court called on Israel to stop new settlement activities, evacuate settlers, and make reparations for the damages caused. Judge Nawaf Salam, president of the ICJ, emphasized that Israel's actions as an occupying power violate fundamental principles of international law and render its presence in the occupied Palestinian territory unlawful. The ruling has drawn sharp condemnation from Israeli leaders and praise from Palestinian officials, marking a pivotal moment in the ongoing conflict. In an unprecedented event, businesses around the globe are grappling with what experts are calling the largest IT outage in history. This major disruption has affected financial services, doctor's offices, TV broadcasters, and even grounded air travel, causing widespread delays and confusion. The chaos began early Friday when cybersecurity giant CrowdStrike experienced a significant disruption due to a defect in a recent tech update. CEO George Kurtz quickly addressed the situation, emphasizing that the issue was not a security breach or cyber attack, but a technical glitch affecting only Windows hosts. He reassured that the problem has been identified, isolated, and a fix has been deployed. Adding to the turmoil, Microsoft also faced an outage with its cloud services, although the company announced that services have since been restored. Despite this, many users continue to report issues. Shares of CrowdStrike took a hit, Closing down 11%, an FTC chair Lena Khan commented on the situation, highlighting the risks of concentrated market power creating fragile systems. Shiloh Jolie Pitt, the daughter of Hollywood icons Angelina Jolie and Brad Pitt, has made headlines by confirming her desire to change her name. Following her legal filing in Los Angeles County Court over a month ago, Shiloh has been publishing her intent to drop to Pitt from her surname, becoming Shiloh Nouvelle Jolie. In accordance with California law, Shiloh, who recently turned 18, has published her name change notice weekly since June 17th. 
Despite maintaining a low profile, Shiloh's decision has captured public interest, though the reasons behind it remain private. The legal notice is a required step to ensure the process moves forward without delay. Recently seen accompanying her mother on the red carpet at the Tony Awards, Shiloh's name change marks a significant personal milestone. Angelina Jolie filed for divorce from Brad Pitt in 2016, with the couple being declared legally single in 2019, though their divorce is yet to be finalized. Shiloh is one of their six children, including Maddox, Pax, Zohora, and twins Knox and Vivienne. Don't forget to like, share, and subscribe for more updates hit the bell icon to stay notified of our latest videos.